CNBC just unveiling its seventh annual Disruptor 50 list, and this is the first year more than half of the companies are outside Silicon Valley. Two are in Chicago, and that is where we find our Julia Borson at Uptake, a $2.3 billion AI company. Hey, Julia. Hey, Morgan. That's right. Fun fact about Chicago, it actually delivers a higher return on investment. The startups here deliver a higher return on investment than any other city in the country, according to PitchBook. One of those companies is Uptake. We're here at their offices in downtown Chicago. This is a company that analyzes data for millions of these tiny little sensors to deliver predictive analytics. It mines billions of hours of data for 140 transportation energy and manufacturing customers, making 4 million predictions an hour, identifying ways processes or machines could fail and flagging fixes. Its customers include the U.S. Army, Caterpillar, Berkshire Hathaway Energy, and Rolls-Royce. CEO Brad Keywell telling us that basing his 500-person company here in Chicago gives it a huge advantage. And this is a spectacular place to grow companies. In the technology space, few as spectacular in terms of Chicago as Uptake. And the reason is that Uptake is about helping industrial companies be better. And we're in the center of American industry, the Midwest. We're right here in Chicago. Now, as for the China trade war, Keywell says that the pressure that that trade war puts on his customers actually gives them an advantage in helping those companies, many of which are based here in the U.S., better take advantage of their data. What this trade war means for our customers is the need to be as excellent uh, as possible, as productive with the current assets, immediately productive as they can be, and immediate productivity gains are going to come by harnessing data. Now, Keywell has really been a stalwart of the Chicago tech scene. This is actually his ninth company that he's founded here.